Welcome, my name is Dorian Nuccio, and I am the uh, sixth son of Dr. Donald J. Nuccio and Bonnie B. Nuccio. Uh, we are here on the family property, which has been in the family for 63 years come September. Uh, the property main house constructed 1896, 1897, uh, with the other outbuildings and cottages, uh, stone walls, and just a fascinating place to explore history and to hang out with nature. The second highest peak in Westchester County is right here, next to Turkey Mountain in Yorktown, which is the highest. Uh, so you have a hill here, we're down here, and there's another big set of hills over here. So we are in the dale of what we call Lincoln Dale. There's only like four families in the entire history of the house that lived there. Ours is obviously the longest with 63 years. Uh, a couple other local residents have lived here and passed away here, and they are, as best we could determine by the history and records that we have, uh, buried right up the street in the local cemetery. Uh, Barnum House of Barnum and Bailey Circus is right up the street, and then the Bailey House is right over in the center of Somers. So a lot, a lot of history going on in this little area. It was 50, 1957, 1958 is when my, my parents bought the house. Uh, and actually, <laughs> both of them being teachers, uh, back at that time period in a public school, teachers only made about maybe $3,500 to $4,500 a year, uh, which is not much money at all with a family of six boys. So uh, my grandfather actually bought the property for them. And then my, they had a, an arrangement where my parents paid off the mortgage and then finally the title was transferred over. Uh, my mom passed away in 2002. In 2004, uh, my brothers and I had the whole property. Uh, shortly after that, uh, went down to three of my brothers, uh, myself and two, and that was 2006. And at that point, we actually annexed. The main parcel here is 7.34 acres, and we annexed a piece of property, vacant lot, that is uh, uh, connected to us in the back, uh, another 3.75 acres at auction. The title of the property, all the property right now is my name, uh, which was inherited, passed along, transferred, what have you, uh, from my siblings and other heirs. Right now, I'm just thoroughly enjoying being here, again, just reti having retired two years ago. The main house uh, was constructed in 1896-97 as per cornerstone uh, in the front of the house. It's a brick house. The bricks were actually fired on the property, which was very common back in the 1800s, uh, back here by a stream, which had excellent water and also had excellent clay to use. The, the timbers for the house were milled on the property also from standing lumber. And if you go into the basement, some of the floors, you can see where they were hand hewn. Uh, the main house, the property was probably belonged to a wealthy merchant who worked out of Peekskill. His route to and from work would have been the old Route 6 before they turned it into a major road. It was probably an old Indian trail. So that being said, he had some money. It was a gentleman's farm. And it can be attested by the construction of the house. In the basement, it says a 12-foot solid granite basement with two pourings of the uh, floor foundation. This is the basement of the old barn, and it would have had your uh, carriages down here, maybe some of your livestock down here. Uh, and then there would have been another floor uh, with other critters up top, which would have been entered right up by here, is actually the way they would come in. And then above that would be your uh, loft for your hay and uh, other grains that you might want to store. Uh, the other outbuilding is the cottage. The cottage was also a carriage house. You have the carriage downstairs, and the loft would have been used for hay. Uh, or other feed products, which is now a studio apartment with a workroom downstairs. Some people uh, have this thing about stone walls being like this alien thing that was built, you know, by civilizations thousands and thousands of years ago. So uh, I hate to be a traditionalist and say, no, it was built by the farmers to clear the fields and, you know, mark property lines. So the farmers and the, the cattle people had to get the fields clean. Uh, you see a wall like some of these walls over here, they're obviously just piled up rocks, all right? When you look at the foundation of a barn, however, you can see that the time was put in and they had uh, uh, masons here who would actually hand cut these rocks to make them fit. And if you're looking at some of these boulders, they're gigantic. The basement in both the house and the cottage are a similar construction. My brother Davey had a great idea one day. He showed up with a backhoe and uh, we were like, what are you gonna do with that? Uh, and he started digging up the, all the garbage out and he said, 
let's see what's in here. And what we found were these incredibly beautiful walls that were built that were all covered with garbage for many years that we never saw. On the other side of the property, this foundation, beautifully made foundation uh, of some kind of structure. Uh, no one's been able to tell me what it was, the town historian or other people I've had here. Could have been a root cellar, could have been an ice house, but probably had something more to do with a, 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 the original structure that the owner did business out of uh, and while they built the main house and other buildings. Then once that was done, they collapsed all the walls into the foundation. Funny story there, I found a coin in it while we were doing this. Big coin, it ended up being a Swiss coin, dated 1847. And uh, we we're like, wow, this is like eight feet down. So I said, this is gonna pay off the mortgage. This is, this is a find. So uh, Westchester County Center does their annual coin and stamp show. So I went down there, I was dressed to the T, I said, this is it, this is it. So I went up to the first guy, he had all kinds of go cool things. I said, sir, can you tell me, give me an appraisal on this coin? He said, absolutely, looks at it, takes his glass out, looks at it, looks at it, goes through a book, comes back and said, 25. And I went, $25,000? He went, no, 25 cents. This is nothing. I was like, ah. But to me, the experience of having that coin, finding it with my brother, eight feet under the ground, in this spot, uh, it now sits on my desk where I can see it every day. So uh, uh, the back of the property, not much development back there that we found. We have found a little garbage pit here or there, and then obviously I mentioned where they fired the bricks. Uh, but those are mainly fields for the animals to roam in and maybe graze and do something like that. A uh, lot of new growth, a lot of the trees that you see are new growth. Uh, much of New York State, this area in the 1800s was farmland or cattle, you know, uh, farmland for crops or animals. So this is a lot of new growth. And I can walk out here and hang out with the squirrels and deers and foxes and red tail hawks, red shoulder hawks, uh, and just enjoy it. I was talking about my brother doing an excavation here, and my other brother doing an excavation over there. Uh, even around the main house as we dig up for gutters or to build some drains, we all, we're always finding things. Uh, uh, somebody with a metal detector would go crazy here. Uh, so as we find various items, like whether it be the barrel rims over here, an old gear over here, a, a hinge uh, from a door, the, uh, we put them, start putting them in piles, and they <laughs> really start to add up. So every place you walk around, if you're observant, if you're observant, you will find something to look at and go, hey, that's cool, what's that? Uh, or something to pick up and study. And usually they're not far from where we pulled them out of the ground. Uh, sometimes we're working around rock walls, you pull it out of a rock wall. There's little displays of various musical instruments around. And part of that was, uh, I, I was cleaning out the house after I retired. That's on the bucket list to do. And what am I going to do with all these instruments? I couldn't just donate them or throw them out. I didn't want to sell them. So uh, you'll find there's the brass section, which has a French horn, a trumpet, and uh, something else over there, a bugle. Uh, there's the woodwind section over here, which has a clarinet and a couple tenor saxophones. And there's the percussion session way, section way over there, which has a xylophone out there. Uh, you know, there might be a few more other instruments laying around here someplace. <laughs> the street right now, you can probably even hear it on this recording. Like I mentioned, it used to be a dirt road. And unfortunately, the increase in traffic and the increase of the maintenance of the road, particularly in winter with the salting of the roads, uh, used to be a whole line of these giant maple trees, the sugar maples down in front of the house. But due to the maturity of the trees, they just they reached their peak age, the uh, compaction of their roots by the traffic on the road, you know, all, there's 18 wheelers going up here, there's coach buses going up here now. Uh, compaction of the roots and, uh, oh, the salt, killing, just actually poisoning the, the trees. Uh, there's none left. They all came, the last one came down uh, this uh, early spring. Uh, they start to die. They're so close to the road, you got a 75, 85 foot tree. Maples die from the top down and the branches which are just dropping in the street. Certainly a lot of people want to come in and build houses and you know, uh, run off with some money. To me it's more important to be a steward of uh, the trees and the grass and the nature, things that are here. And I can uh, you know, handle the nut, taking care of everything here. Not the way I, you know, I want to put additions and do all these other things, but in time, in time it'll play out. So I guess the thing is they have options and there's no rush on anything. Uh, and with that, 
I don't know, maybe tonight I'll take my tractor for a ride around the property. That was good. <laughs>